us mountain bikers, and we're an odd bunch disappearing into the woods for hours on end, doing God knows what. And it's not only that, we do a few other weird things, don't we? So I thought in this video, we'd have a little look at what they are. All right, this one's a weird thing that us mountain bikers, we do it all the time, and it's getting naked in public spaces. No, it's not as weird as it sounds. Cameraman's laughing behind the lens there, no. You know, you rock up to a trail centre the side of the road, you're about to go for a spin like I am now, and I've got nowhere to get changed. What am I going to do? Well, without getting arrested for public indecency, I'm going to have to get naked right here, right now. Watch out, people! We're going in. There we go, ready to go. And I haven't been arrested. Bonus. You must have noticed by now, it's having a bike worth way more than your vehicle. It's something that mountain bikers are absolutely, well, they're known for almost, should we say. Next time you go to your local trail spot, have a little look around and just see how many real fancy bikes there are and real not so fancy vehicles there are. And do you know what? I can sympathize a little bit. I'm in on Boris here and Boris does the job. In fact, look, it's a bit, it's a bit warm in here. Let's put the window down. Look. Oh, there we go. Cheers, Boris. You absolute beauty. Filed. So. It doesn't matter, you don't need a fancy vehicle though. It's nice to have, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind a fancy van, but at the same time, when I chuck my filthy bike in the back, my motocross bike, all my kit, I'm like, hey, I don't really worry about keeping it clean too much. And I think that is actually a good thing. So as if having a beaten up old vehicle wasn't enough, us mountain bikers, do you know what we love to do? We love to drive hours to get to a good riding spot. We could almost spend more time in the van or in the car driving to somewhere than we do riding at that spot, but we love it. And it's because we love to ride in lots of different locations on lots of different terrains all over the country. And I think that's what's great about mountain biking is that it does allow us to explore. But I mean, you'll end up spending hundreds on fuel, hours and hours in time to go for a couple hour ride, to then do it all the way on the back home or maybe the next weekend. But you know what? I'm still gonna do it because it's wicked, isn't it? Who else other than you lovely lot out there would cram themselves into the back of a minibus with 15 other sweaty people, all to the tune of 50 quid, dollars, euros, you name it. Yes, us lot, mountain bikers, that's who we love and uplift there, especially here in the UK actually, where we don't have as many ski lifts and things like that. We love an uplift day, just to smash out the runs as much as we can. Some riders are better at this skill than others, but most riders have the ability to use a combination of tire tracking skills, ride tracking apps, and intuition to find new trails in unfamiliar woodland. Occasionally, a rider comes along who can seemingly sniff out any trail from the car park without even looking at a map. These riders are very handy to have in your riding group. Whether it's a pre-ride ritual, not riding a certain trail after a certain time, only riding bikes of a certain colour, or never saying one last run, mountain bikers are more superstitious than most. Tell me what, have you got any weird superstitions? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Ah, oh, there we are then, people. Some weird things I reckon mostly mountain bikers only do out there. Have I missed any off the list, though? If I have, or if you do some weird things and you're a mountain biker, let me know in the comments down below. But look, it's stunning, but I want to get out and ride before the rain comes. So until next time, people, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.